What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's cracking, y'all? Back with some more content from the Michael Jordan universe. You know I gotta get my MJ stuff in and feed the Michael Jordan fans. This one is by Ball is Life. Great YouTube channel, especially for Michael Jordan content. Go check it out. Michael Jordan's inside out dribble. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, do I think Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time? Yes. Do I think Michael Jordan's the greatest ball handler of all time? No. Do I think Michael Jordan's the greatest ball handler of all time at the shooting guard position? No. I don't think any of those things. Unlike LeBron fans, they'll say LeBron James is the best passer, best dunker, best shooter, best three-point shooter, best clutch person. I'm just like, what? Get out of here. I keep it honest. But Michael Jordan, honestly, his ball handling might be underrated, to be quite honest with you. Honestly. And Michael Jordan probably had the best inside-out dribble that I've seen at least for a shooting guard without giving it much thought. He was he was already had the cat like quickness, regardless. Especially athletic prime might, right? But the how quickly he would go and then out again and get around the defender and then either explode to the basket or maybe avoid another defender coming for health defense and fade on him. Whatever. The things he could do was limitless because his bag his skills, his repertoire of moves was that deep, right? He could have done a hundred things after he pulled the inside-out dribble up. But guaranteed, he was going to lose that man on that inside-out dribble. Boy, he gives you the, the body jerk, the head jerk, everything. Shake them out of their shoes. Seriously. And even, the, that's the other thing too, like, there's not as much flexibility with ball handling like it was uh, as it is today. They couldn't do as many things as the players can do, can do today. They get called for traveling back then. And this isn't just inside out that I'm talking about. I'm just talking about all the different things you can do with the basketball. It's a much more uh, lenient league now with the whistle and the traveling violations and whatnot. Carries, what's a carry, what's a traveling, et cetera, et cetera. These guys played by different rules back then. It was much harder for them to do things. But they still got it done. It's not a long video, folks. It's only about four minutes. Won't take too much of your time. But just enough time to relax, you know. Sneak out of your, your office. Go to the bathroom. Watch some Michael Jordan content with me. All right? Let's get into it. Of course, Patrick Union wasn't going to do anything with that. Mmm. Lost him. This one's nasty there. Whole sidestep. Dude, he got a whole guy shift in one direction. Watch how he explodes right after the inside out. Boom. Explosion. Pull up. <laughs> I love that play. Sit down, boy. Don't stumble. Oh, 
Oh, that was sick. Inside out into a spin move. Reversal. Has a little sleeper move there. Straight up leaving people in the dust. Either they freeze up and he just blows by it after the in and out or they pick a side. Oftentimes they pick the wrong side. They go left, might go right. They go right, might go left. Good luck. It's one of those things. Like I said, his back was too deep. Even if you pick, even if you gambled and caught the right decision, he would still... Have a counter move for you. That's how deep the bag was. Michael Jordan is one of the most skilled basketball players to ever play the game. And that's scary as hell. When you consider the scoring threat he was. And the defensive threat he was. With a bag of skills. Shush. Boy. Plus being a guard, meaning that you can uh, dictate offense more. You know, you're not waiting for somebody to throw the ball into you like a lot of big men are. But the true dominant big men would get the ball because their teammates knew what time it was. Or they would demand it from them. Unlike a lot of these big men today, they're so shy. They're so meek. They're so timid. Mm. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, folks. Skills beyond measure. Not the most skilled ever, but one of the. But when we talk about some of the more, or some other players that are very skilled, or you might say is more skilled than Mike, they couldn't do all the other things Mike could do. <laughs> it's one thing to be skilled or skilled in some areas, but what about the intangibles? What about the fundamentals? What about the mentality? What about the work ethic? What about the performance? What about um, the will to win? What, what about all the other things? The ability to carry a team. The ability to get buckets on a consistent basis. The ability to, to lock men down. Very few can say they have that. They could do it from all facets. Very few. And Mike did it the best, in my opinion. Check out our Michael Jordan playlist. I appreciate you all. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Stay notified. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.